is about the Bedouin villages in the south? Yeah. There's a village called Al Hiran, uh, and it's to be it's not uh, uh, a legal village, so it's going to be destroyed. Um, what do you think of that? Like, what do you think of everything that goes on with the Bedouin in the south? I think they've got the right to live wherever they can find the place to live. Sometimes it's problematic if it's um, where they live, if it's uh, damaging or hurting someone else, but otherwise, why not? Just be there. This question is about the Bedouin and the Negev. All right. About the uh, illegal uh, villages. Yeah. First of all, do you know much about them, and what is your opinion? I don't know too much about them. I know that they like uh, they do like they build uh, like the, they build like their homes without like license. This is what you uh -huh. mean? Yeah. Or well, they. In this case, it's there's uh, in the Negev there are legal villages that the that the state recognizes, and there's unrecognized villages. There's villages where people have been living there for yeah, and 20, 40, for, like, 50 the years. Tax, the they don't have they don't have they don't pay taxes. They also don't get any services. Yeah. So what uh, and the and the country wants to move them to a place that would be legal. Yeah. But they want to move them. Not, not the issue is they're not going to say their villages are legal. They're going to take all of them from all the different areas and move them to one place. Let's say. Yeah. Uh, what I think about it, mm -hmm. I think it's okay actually because okay. why? Uh, because they they started something that it is illegal. Just because it became like a part of their. Uh, I don't know, maybe they, they can find a compromise, but they can't leave it like that because, you know, if you do something illegal, nobody tells you anything. It doesn't mean like 10 or 20 years after, it will be still be okay. You, know? you do something illegal, so you have to, like, like everybody should have the same, uh, the same uh, duties. That's it. Uh, have you heard of the Bedouin village, Um El Hiran? Um, there, it's a, an illegal village in the Negev, and it's to be destroyed. Um, and they want to know what you think about it. No, never heard of it. Okay. But there are a lot of uh, Arab village in the Negev. Mm -hmm. So, okay, but this there is are a, thousands of that. The, this is a, an illegal Bedouin village, and you, do you know the issue about the Bedouin villages? So, what is your What's my opinion? opinion on that? My opinion is that the, the country should uh, give them uh, their own uh, space mm -hmm. uh, and it's a lousy country so they don't do it and that's why they're, that's why they're doing what they do who's doing so what I, they do the the country the doing the bedouin. or the bedouin are doing yeah okay so i understand them but it's not okay to do it okay, okay this one is about the bedouin in the negev um, there's a lot of illegal Bedouin uh, villages, and the government is trying to make them into, like, to give them a place where it will be legal, and do what do you... Do put them in, like, a little kebab? Yeah, I think so. Well, so the question is, what do you know about it, and what do you think? Well, it's actually really funny, because I have a friend, and her job is actually to remove those people. Oh, that, she's in the army? Um, no, like, uh, she works for the government mm -hmm. and that's her job like she goes in and she tells them that you know they have to move out because they build illegally and then like, you see the the areas that they take um i don't know i think it's a it's a good idea because there's been so many like illegal crossing ins like you know how mexicans cross over to california and stuff so i think it'd be a good idea to like control it and minimize the problem but so explain what the problem is though from what you've heard okay, from her well, let's say the problem is that they are taking over land that is actually like owned and it's worked on and so when companies and whatnot they come in and then they just see people like living on the shetach that they own and they need so it's got a bit of a problem because you can't just ask them to you know to pick up and leave because obviously they're not going to and it's also for a lot of israelis they don't like it they'll be driving and it's just like it's also a um how can i explain it like a well what's a good word for like a few
No, it's around Nofnaim, like to see like okay. some random people like in the Negev like building little shacks. Yeah, little shacks. And a lot of people would say they don't belong there and you know they're not even Israeli and they just came here illegally and there's nothing you can do about it because like once they're here you can't just click them out and put them back to wherever they came from. So I think the best situation would be to minimize and control you know their growth of their little shack villages and then come up with a better solution afterwards. Because in time, I don't know what you think but it's difficult. Like, so many like Sudanim and Ethiopian and everything and I mean they're not supposed to be here we can't really do anything about it. Um, there's a village called, I think it's El Harish in uh, the Negev. It's an illegal Bedouin village. Um, in general, what do you know about the non the non recognized Bedouin villages, and what do you think of the whole situation? Well, very problematic. Okay, explain they what want, you mean. They want to maintain the uh, way of life, mm -hmm. which is Bedouin way. It means no land for themselves. And wondering about the desert. Most of them, some of them want to live in the cities, but most of them doesn't. Mm -hmm. And Israel wants to put them inside cities like Rahat and Arab uh, Negev and places like that. And it's a big conflict between the, what's the, word, the order of stuff, like uh, you want everybody to be in the same situation like us living in the city or in some recognizable place mm -hmm. and they don't uh, have this kind of way of life. Mm -hmm. so, well, in this case they have villages that have been around I don't know how long, let's say 30, long. 40 years. Yeah. Um, and they're just not recognized, so they have no infrastructure, they don't pay taxes. They don't pay taxes, they are not... Uh, and they want to stay there. So the issue is the state either can recognize them or the state wants to move them to a central location. Yeah, I think they should find a moment ground. Okay. Maybe to recognize part of them, maybe to put the infrastructures inside the villages. And maybe uh, very difficult, much more than a straight answer. Like okay, it's okay. Yeah, my straightforward answer would be that we should was recognized the, the, the villages and stop house demolitions, which is, a, I think, the critical issue in uh, the last few years. Uh, but as Matan said, it, it's, it's quite complicated because you, you, you do need to regulate things if you want to be a sovereign country, you know. Um, and I think that any aspect that uh, can be seen as uh, Discriminative between uh, Jews and Arabs should be should be cancelled, and the policy should, should be changed. But there is also a, a real problem of regulating. Yeah, it must be very delicate. It must be very yeah. delicate. The, 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 the core issue is that they, they want to live in a way of life that uh, if they would live like they lived. Uh, before Western medicine came in, they, they, they would need the entire Middle East in order to have their uh, uh, cattle and uh, have all they do. But uh, it doesn't fit anymore and that's why people want to put them in cities. But it's a problem because the cities also are uh, very bad. The Rat and uh, Arara and uh, just so bad, full of crime. If they want to put them inside cities, they should uh, invest. They should invest very uh, a lot of money inside the cities, which they don't do. Rat is very poor, and the country doesn't put any money inside. Have you heard of the um, the Bedouin village Um El Hiran? Uh, it's in the Negev and it's supposed to be destroyed. Um, it's not a legal village. And um, what is your opinion on this? No, I didn't hear about it. It's one of the illegal villages in the Negev. Um, so what do you think of the whole issue of Bedouins and the illegal villages? Uh, I'm not sure about it, but 
I, I think they are supposed to have a good, uh, good place to live, mm -hmm. and uh, but they can't live everywhere they want because uh, it's uh, the the government has to make uh, some uh, infrastructure, mm -hmm. so they have to. The government needs to give them some uh, cities and villages if they want to live like in a country way. And uh, yeah, so if they, they have to take down some uh, illegal uh, places and uh, put legal places instead, uh, they should do it. Okay. I don't know specific about this one, but in general. Yeah. אז מה, ש... אז מה אתה חושב על הכפר אום אל-חרן, הכפר הבדואי, שמוצאים להרוס ולבנות איראן, שזה יהיה מקום יהודי? קודם כל אני חושב שזה עצוב, ורוצים לבנות להפקיע אדמות של כפר מסוים, לעשות טרנספר לאנשים כדי להקים יישוב במקומו לאנשים אחרים רק בגלל שהם יהודים. למה הם עושים את זה? תסביר על העניין שלהם. זהו, כפר אום אל-חיראן הוא על הגבול הקו הירוק, והם לא רוצים שיהיה רצף בין הפלסטינים בגדה לבין הפלסטינים בתוך מדינת ישראל, ובגלל זה הם רוצים לשים שם יישוב יהודי. אז זו בעיקר הסיבה למה הם רוצים לעשות טרנספר לבדואים שגרים שם ולשים במקומם יישוב קהילתי דתי.